Oh, what? What was that? What? <laughs> oh, you! <laughs> Garrett got you. I so scared you. You are such a scaredy cat. Jackal has got to be one of the most annoying kids around. Hello? Hey Garrett, it's me, Edgar. How are you doing? Oh, fine. I'm just enjoying my vacation at the Sunny Meadows Mountain Resort. That's awesome! That's what I was hoping for. You won't believe this, but I got work off! I get to come up! I'll be there this afternoon! Wow, that's great. Where will you stay? Uh, I might get one of those cabins that's further out, but it's just me. So, it's kind of expensive. Why not room with me? It cut our cost in half. Really? <laughs> That'd be great! Okay, I'll come room with you. See you there. Whew, this egg drop soup is better than I'd expected. I must learn the recipe before I go home next week. Oh, no way! A deer! There's so much wildlife here. How are you doing today, sir? Oh, fine today, Garrett. Just enjoying the morning breeze. I'd like to saddle up for a morning stride. Yes, sir. Enjoy your ride.
Oh, there. Oh. What is it, old boy? You smell something? Mm. Ah! Gee! Go home like lightning now, boy! Gosh, sometimes I don't like the wildlife, though. Hey, I'll play in ping pong. Sure. Wow, you're good. I was champion where I come from. Nice. I hope I get as good as you. Wow, Edgar is already here. Today is going by so fast. Hey, you there, Garrett. I just parked my car. Hey, this place is fantastic. I'd never have guessed it'd be as cool as all this. I didn't know it had an entrance like this. Did you? I didn't. The visitor's pamphlet only mentions to be courteous when parking at the entrance. You'd think with such a cool thing as this that they would at least use it as a marking at advantage. Yeah, weird. Hey, let's go take all your stuff and put it at my cabin. Then I'll show you around. Wow, this was much bigger than I expected. We get all this place to ourselves? Yes, we do. It will be nice having someone else here. It's sometimes a little spooky at night in the dark. Do you scare Easy? Not really, but there's this really annoying kid, Jacko, that basically lives here. I think he's a son of one of the workers. Anywho, he pranked me last night and tried to scare me. Jacko? That's his name? Jacko? What kind of name is that? I don't know, but to me, it actually sounds like an old name. Maybe Latin. You'd think a kid with a cool vintage name would behave more grown up. Oh, it's kids these days. They're getting so weird. That cabin is where old man Stevens is. He's retired and has been renting the cabin for more than a year now. Over here is the tree house. It's actually really cool. Visitors are welcome to take their sleeping bags up there at night. Ooh, wow! We totally should some night! Yeah, and not far off that way is another cabin where there is this old woman. I think she's related to the people that live here. She's been here a while too but I wouldn't bother her. She's actually quite mean, but I hardly ever see her. I wonder what makes her so mean. I don't know. 
I don't understand old people sometimes. This is the trail to the top. I haven't hiked it yet. I thought maybe we could do it sometime. Sure! And this, of course, is the small boat dock. We can go boating anytime. There's a camp further downstream, if you want to go visit it. You betcha! That'd be fun! And here's the visitor center, which you probably saw when you came in. And over there is the horse barn. That's my favorite part. I like riding horses. Oh, nice! Well, I'm not too good at that. I may skip on that. Is it fun? Well, actually, I had an experience today that may make you not want to ride horses ever. I took my horse up further than usual, but then I encountered a bear. He must have been very hungry because he started chasing us. He seemed so mad. But my horse was fast, so I came back quickly. Wow, that's like a close one. There's a lot of wildlife here, but they don't recommend going too far away from the resorts. Animals don't seem to come close as often, and they tell us to keep away from the dense trees. Really? Why? I don't know. It seems kind of mysterious, actually. They don't even tell me why. I just assume there are bears and wolves and stuff. I asked one of the owners once, on an odd occasion that I happened to see him, but he didn't really tell me anything. In fact, he even seemed kind of scared. Wow, okay, that's weird. Kind of spooky. Okay, well, guess I won't be wandering off far anytime soon. Right, but there's lots else to do. The hiking trails are supposed to be safe. We can hike those. That's fine, but I'm actually getting kind of hungry. What we got for lunch? There's all kinds of stuff, but I actually brought some weenie dogs. Want some? We should actually save those for tonight. Then cook them over a campfire. Okay, let's just go do sandwiches instead. That was good! Hey, are you tired from your horse ride? Not really. Let's go do the hike! Sure. Holy moly, this view is incredible! Hey, is this sign legit? Yes, they just want us to be careful around ledges, I think. Let's go to the top of that peak! That one? I don't have boots for it. You won't need it! Come on! Look at this! Whoa! Oh, gee! Whoa! 
Are you all right? Yes, I'm okay. Just slipped on the snow. I told you we needed boots. Are you injured? Let me see. No, 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 no. I'm okay. Just bruised a little. I guess I was lucky. Maybe let's go back to the cabin and rest for a bit. Hey, there are computers in the loft! Yeah, they have lots of games on them. Let's play a game together! Hey, wanna play Minecraft? Minecraft? <laughs> that stupid game? It's only for kids. Oh, okay. How about Star Maid? That's just the space version of Minecraft. But I have to admit it's much better. Okay, let's play Star Maid. Hey Edgar, it's getting dark. Let's quit! I want to go roast weenie dogs! Well, look who's here. Garrett, who's scared at it? Scared at what? Nothing, he I... He got scared and I poked up in his window with a mask. <laughs> it was so funny. He was so scared. Jacko, do you mind if we join you? We were going to just roast weenie dogs. Sure, help yourself. I love weenie dogs. I'm doing s'mores next. This is a cool forest. I'm surprised it doesn't get super cold at night. It makes it nice. We need ghost story. I know a ghost story. Tell it. Okay, this happened once a long time ago. And hey, it happened in woods just like this one. What are the odds? Well... So there was this little boy who wanted to go play in the woods. He was told not to, but he was a nutty boy, so he did anyway. He thought he was having fun, but then he heard some sounds in the woods. He was curious and went closer to it. He got closer and closer, and he thought he heard sounds in the bushes. But when he looked behind them, there was nothing there. He was getting even more scared until finally he started to give up. Well. He started to walk back, but for some reason, he couldn't find his way back. He knew he was going the right way, but the woods just kept going. It was like, almost like as if the place where he came from had just been erased. Then he heard it behind him, like someone was dragging a broken leg. And then there was this moaning. He got louder and louder, and the boy got scared and rained faster. But the faster he ran, the faster the dragon got, and he got closer and closer to him. That's when the boy stopped and noticed something on the ground. It was red. It was blood. And then he realized it was probably a murderer that had murdered someone that was about to murder him. Then the thing finally jumped out from the bushes, wielding a knife, and with a red substance dripping from it. His face was gruesome, and he had an ill nature. He was terrible, and we was standing up straight, just in time, ready to... Ah, 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 I'm scared! Don't tell any more! No! What? Are you actually scared? Ah, I'm telling Daddy, and you will get in trouble for scaring me! Ah, ah, ah. 
What an arrogant little cuss. Imagine that, trying to scare you, then turning out to be a scaredy himself. That boy is a hypocrite. Wow, yeah, that really came full of ledge on himself. Guess he got what he deserved. Sweet revenge. But you did it for me. <laughs> that was hilarious. Right, well, I'm going to just relax for a bit and eat my weenies. Then I think I'm going to go back and go to bed. See you tomorrow. I'm off to bed. Alright. See you tomorrow. Oh? Is that Jacko again? Who would imagine that? trying to scare me. Again. Guess that story wasn't enough after all. Wait. That doesn't look like Jacko. <laughs> it's a wolf! <laughs> Is this the Game Ranger? Hey, I just saw a wolf outside my window. Okay, thanks. Come quick. It's all right, everyone. He's down. What's a wolf doing in town? I don't know, but that's the first time I've seen a wolf wander into the resort like this alone. Stand back, everyone. I'm getting another ranger to come and help me take this carcass away. We have to test it for rabies. Hey, I thought I heard shouting. You missed it. Come back inside. You won't believe it. I was just at the window when I thought I saw something moving. I thought it was Jack again. But it turned out to be a wolf. I called the game ranger and he came quickly and killed it. There was a girl out there and it started to chase her. I think it would have killed her if it weren't for the game ranger. Wow, that sure sounds like a close one. It kind of gives me the spooks. Even the game ranger seemed concerned about a wolf coming into the resort alone. He thinks it may have had rabies. Hopefully that's it. And it's easy to deal with. I don't know anything about rabies, but what if it wasn't? If it wasn't, then I don't know what it could have been. Hi there, miss. How's the weather treating you today? She really is weird. Won't even talk to me. She even looked mad at me. Hey, I'm wondering if you have any pamphlets on animals here. I certainly do. Here you go, sir. What's that you got? Just a pamphlet on the animals around here. I'm just kind of curious as to what kinds they have. This is strange. Hey Edgar, I'm looking at this pamphlet, but there's something strange. This part tells about the wolves here. There's one species of wolf that are around here, but... It's not the kind I saw last night. Really? It even says there are no other kinds here. Gosh! It's like you saw a wolf that 
doesn't belong here. Maybe that's another reason the Game Ranger seems so disturbed. How could a wolf be here that doesn't even belong here? It's possible someone brought one here illegally. Yeah, that could be. Maybe the ranger's worried he's going to have to get help and arrest someone doing illegal stuff. Poor guy. I don't envy him and his job. Other than that it's cool he gets to work at a resort. This place is awesome. I'd love to quit my job and work here, but only if it pays well. Yeah, someone working and making 90k a year in the city doesn't give that up lightly. I have to admit we have good paying jobs. I probably won't give it up soon. Hello? A visitor? May I ask you some questions? Sure, come in. Sit down. Are you hungry? No, not really. Then if you don't mind waiting for me, I was about to make a salty lemon cream carrot. A salty lemon? What? What an odd treat. There we have it. Well now, what questions do you have in mind? Just wondering, because you've been here for a while. Maybe you've seen things. I'm just wondering, do strange things happen around here normally? What strange things? Like last night. There was a wolf that wandered into the resort by itself. The game ranger seemed to think it was something bad. Oh, that. Well, now that you mention it, Strange things seem to happen from time to time, but not that often. You see, it didn't used to before. Things have changed slightly since I got here. In fact, everything was normal then. But there was a strange man who I met one day. He seemed like he was up to no good. Right away, I felt like I knew his intent. I have a way of knowing about people, you see. I think he was up to something illegal. Anyway, he actually went into the forest when he was told not to. He did it a couple of times. The last time I saw him, he was acting most unusual. Then one day I saw him leave again for the woods. And he never came back. Never came back? Hmm. I almost wonder if he got himself killed. I told the game ranger about it, but they said there was no one of that description matching any of the guests. I don't think he believed me, but I know. He snuck in. I'm sure he was up to something illegal. Wow. I never would have imagined. And ever since he went away, strange things have slowly started to happen. Like the wolf, you see. Last month, a woman was attacked by a huge moth. She actually had to go to the hospital, but the moth flew away and they never saw it again. Yes. Strange things have been adding up. I see. Okay, well, I think that's all I had in my mind for now. I was just curious what you have seen. Very well. Hope all is well. Enjoy your day. Where were you? I was at the old man's. What were you doing there? Well, I just had something to ask him. He seems like a pretty bright guy, you know. I asked him if things like the wolf have been happening normally, like before you and I were here. He said that not really, but there was this one guy that came and went into the woods when he wasn't supposed to. Old man Stephen seemed to think he's a crook. He saw him go on often until one day he didn't come back at all. 
He says weird things have been going on since then. That's interesting. Maybe he's the one up to the illegal things. I bet he went in there and is camping out somewhere doing illegal stuff. Right! If he didn't die, those woods seem awfully strange. That's some interesting stuff. Gives me the creeps. I think I want to forget about it now. Wow, I can't believe the view from up here. Didn't you say there's a campsite down the river? Yes. They say everyone's welcome to boat down it for a night of fun. I think there's supposed to always be somebody there. Some kind of troop leader. Sounds like scout camp. Right. Hey, we should go there tomorrow. I think it'd be fun. All right. You know those stars? What else do you think is out there in space? Do you think there is other life? Statistically speaking, I think it's impossible for there not to be any life. What kind of life? Aliens? Weird animals and whatnot? Maybe. Who knows what kind of things? They could have evolved in all kinds of things. I've heard even like moss could evolve intelligence. I don't mean any kind of moss we know. But some, like, highly intelligent moss could have evolved to build almost anything. That'd be strange. Maybe it could be a friend. Or, if not intelligent enough, a pet. <laughs> Imagine pet moss. <laughs> That's awesome. Whoa. I'm suddenly very sleepy. All right, let's go to sleep. Enjoy the night. Hey, have you done that test yet? Oh, hello there. Funny you should ask. I just got the result not even ten minutes ago. I suppose you are curious. This is interesting, and it may surprise you. It surprised me, and I'm not even sure what to think of it. The results are most conclusive, and there's no reason not to trust them. In fact, I would have gotten them sooner, but there needed to be more testing. Why? The tests on the wolf came back negative. It did not have rabies. It didn't? What did it have then? That's the problem. They performed more tests and did a full autopsy. In the end, not even a single odd thing was found. It's like the wolf came in completely voluntary. The only thing I could think is it was just what we call a bad apple in the barrel. It's a good thing we killed it. It may have gone elsewhere, causing more trouble. I sure hope there aren't more wolves out there like that. 
Is it common for wolves to behave like that? Not at all. This is for sure an outlier. Don't let it bother you if it does. All my years here and this has never happened. And most likely it will never happen again during my lifetime. Well, that's a relief. Okay, I won't let it bother me. Look at these old arcade games! This is awesome! So cool. Wish I had one of these at my place. They are way more fun than modern games. It's just a nostalgia. It means so much. We got the message. The leader out at the camp has quit his job. He didn't say why. He just sent in his notice and left right away. He won't be coming back. Then we'll have to find someone else. What's down there? I don't know. I haven't been down there yet. It's empty. Guess they haven't finished it yet. Let's explore it! This pool doesn't seem to be working. The water is cold. completely empty. I don't mind saying, it's kind of spooky down here. Right, let's go. This poor horse. What's wrong? He's sick and I don't know why. I don't think he will survive. We will have to put him down soon. So odd, the weird things that are happening. I wish there was an explanation. I'm bored! What do you say we go to the camp island now? Now? Before dark? Sure, why not? Maybe we can fish or explore or something. Well, okay. Here we are.
Where are all the people? She doesn't haven't come here yet, I guess. But I thought there was supposed to always be a camp leader here all the time. <laughs> what the? <laughs> Who are you? Um, just some vacationers. Are you the camp leader? <laughs> no, I'm not. Then where is he? <laughs> I, I don't know. He wasn't. He wasn't here when I came. <laughs> I've been here alone, all alone, for a while. How long? <laughs> Just a while. Never mind. Cup of sour melon tea? What? Ew. No, thank you. We have our own stuff we brought. Ah! I forgot the weenies! They have lots of food already. There are barrels behind one of the stands. Enough to last a year! Uh, well, okay. Nice. Let's go get a snack. Look at that old forest. Those trees are so tall. Is that the forest they ask us not to go into? Yes. That bridge there. Something doesn't look right. It's out. I wonder what happened. I wonder why it's ruined. It's weird. I get this weird feeling when I look at the forest. Hey, there's a bridge on the other side. Let's go explore over there. Wow, we were hiking over there for a while. Let's go roast something over the fire. You are back! <laughs> That's all it! I finished the hit! The earth! And my tummy rumbles like earthquakes of Antarctica! Um, okay. He sure is strange. I really am super curious as to what is in that old forest. Do you not know? Haven't you heard the tale of what goes on in there? Hey, um, I've like asked all kinds of people and no one will tell me. Or they don't know. Well, most don't. I'm one of the few that does. What's the tale? <laughs> it started long ago. They say that there's something in that old forest almost like magic. However, it deserves not to be interrupted. And whatever magic it is, it doesn't like people. But it happened once that they say that something disturbed it. Sure, there are animals there of all kind, but that doesn't matter. What matters is that it isn't disturbed by people. Well, they say that someone who was told not to go in there actually did. He, and he found something and disturbed it. Some say he went mad or something of the sort, but we don't know for sure. But we think he is still in there if he is still alive. But beyond that, one day, they found a bunch of dead animals not far from here at the ledge of the forest. They were afraid to go clean it up. And the next day, the dead animals were suddenly gone again. But since then, 
They've been afraid to let people go in. They think something in there is lurking. Some fiend. Or some monster. Is that it? That's the story? <laughs> yes, it is true. I know it's true. It is true, true. It, it's all true and terror is in there. <sighs> Wait, I'm sleepy. Good night. That was rather sudden. He's a creep. I almost don't think we should stay here. We'll be all right. And I'm getting tired. Let's choose a tent. Do you think he was telling the truth? I think he actually is. And here's my hypothesis. See, the dead animals and whatnot in the tale. Remember that story about the weird guy doing illegal stuff? I bet he's a poacher. Those dead animals were probably his. And I bet he sneaks out and sells their skins and stuff. Then sneaks back in. And that story? <laughs> I bet he made it up and started spreading all around to try and scare everyone. He's probably been doing illegal stuff in there this whole time, and no one will catch him because they won't go in. Sounds like bad news. Maybe someone should sneak in and try to catch him. Right, but no one will. We would have to find better evidence that we were right. I bet even the ranger would be too scared to go looking in there for him. What? Edgar, you are an idiot.
scared? Oh, oh, oh. Edgar? You scared the living daylights out of me. Sorry, just didn't want to be heard. Heard from what? Hey, I always walk around quietly in an old, old forest. You think I want anyone to hear me? Gee, are you looking for the poacher? Yeah! You are an idiot for coming out here alone. You should come back with me. I want to catch the poacher. Let's find some evidence. It may be enough to get the ranger to come and nab him. Well, I guess it wouldn't hurt to look around a little. But let's not go very deep. Ten minutes, then let's go back. Okay, I'm done looking. Let's go. Um... What's the matter? Which way? You don't know? I can't remember. This place all looks the same and the trees are too small to see the mountains. Um, I think it's this way. Shoot. No, it's not. Dude, are we? Yes. We're lost. Birch trees. Hey, there's one spruce tree in the middle of all those trees. That seems rather odd. Yeah, but I guess not impossible. Still, something is rather odd about it. Hey, but I can see the sun. It's past noon, so I know which way to go. Let's go! Hey, wasn't that tree over there? Um, whoa, look, the dirt is turned up behind it. Okay, this is getting creepy. Let's go. What's going on? We caught him. Finally. This idiot was in the woods. We've known for a while he was up to no good. We caught him stealing and he confessed. Turns out he's been doing illegal stuff all this time. But I'm not going back. You can't make me. You're all doomed. I saw it there. It's coming. You'll all be sorry. <laughs> this guy's nuts. I'm taking him now. Come on, stupid thief. That was so weird. He's insane. And a creep. But he said something about it coming. Maybe he saw something in the old forest. The guy's a crook. He's probably acting crazy on purpose. Or all that time being out there alone doing illegal stuff. Maybe it did it to him. Or he's on drugs. Oh yeah, probably drugs. That's nuts. Hello, Garrett. Nice of you to stop by. I just wanted you to know you were right about that person doing illegal stuff in the forest. 
The ranger caught him today, and the thief confessed. I knew it. I was right all wrong. <laughs> I always am. Right. And I think he was a poacher, too. Why do you think that? We met some weirdo on the camp island, and he told us a story about the old forest, and some weird things happening, and dead animals once found near the forest, but then gone the next day. I think he was poaching. Hmm. I haven't heard that story myself. Very interesting. Right, and the camp leader wasn't even there at the camp. Oh, I just heard it myself. He quit. Quit? Why? Don't know. Nobody knows. He just suddenly quit one day. Though, I actually saw him pass my window when he was leaving. It was rather odd. I caught a glimpse of his eyes. I sensed immense fear behind them. I think something scared him. Yeah? Like from the old forest? I don't know. Poor man. Maybe just been alone out there too long. People don't actually go to the camp very often. Hmm. Garrett, would you excuse me, please? My foot is starting to ache, and I must go soak it. Sure. Thanks for the talk. I'll go, too. This is so weird. Weird stuff happening. And I really wonder why the camp leader quit. It's so strange. It's like there's more happening than just poaching and drugs and going on in the woods. I almost feel like something else is afoot. Like what? Well, what about that tree? Remember how it suddenly seemed to be in a different place? It's super spooky. It's probably just our imaginations. We probably just didn't look at it right. Well, maybe. What is it, ma'am Featherstone? My house! I saw a tree move up to it, and it wasn't there before! She seems most frightened. I don't think she will go back to her house tonight. Come with me, ma'am Featherstone. You may stay in my guest room tonight. Come on, let's go look at that tree. What? Are you serious? What's the matter? I heard screaming. The old woman says a tree appeared suddenly outside her house. What? Is she crazy? Er, er, not crazy. Well, um, okay, let's go. Where's our house? Ah, uh, this can't be good. Look at this rubble. This is where... It used to be. It's gone? Right. Somehow just gone. And where's the spruce tree she mentioned? This is insane. I don't get it. Look, this might be a serious situation. You both go back to your cabins right now. I'm calling a police unit to come up here at once. The police have found lots of her belongings and will return them to her soon. 
but the house is completely gone. But there's something else very strange. All her valuable jewelry is gone. Gone? You mean stolen? It looks that way. May I sit down? Please do. I'm so, I'm so sorry to you all. I know I've been most unkind and friendly. I would like to explain. You see, my daughter was killed in a car accident some years back. I loved her so much, and her death has made me so bitter. But see, she was single, but rich from her job. She had rich jewelry. That jewelry was hers, and all I had left of her. I was just bitter all this time. There, oh, there, don't be so sad, and do not despair. You are all right now. We are all your friends. <laughs> Thank you. We're sorry, too. We should have been a little more outgoing. We promise we'll make it up to you. Though, I won't be here past my vacation stay. But Stevens here pretty much lives here. You two can always be friends. It would be an honor, ma'am. Well, I don't mean to break this up, but I'm getting hungry. Let's go back to the cabin for lunch. Righto. Coming. I have an idea. You may not like it. What? What say you we end our vacation early and head out? Really? And all this money was spent on being here? Creepy things going on here are getting to me. I think I've had it. Well, okay. It does seem to make sense, but it's getting late. It'd be better to travel by daylight. I say we wait until tomorrow. Well, okay. Tomorrow then. I want some candy! No. <laughs> Did I go get candy somewhere else? That kid is so nuts! Everyone here is nuts! That's it. I'm never coming back again. What was that? Stay back! Stay back! Are you out of your mind? Garrett, look! Doesn't that tree look familiar to you? Wait... That's the tree we saw in the woods! Here? How? I saw it move. Stay back. What the? Garrett, let's get our stuff now. They're all dead! Dude, 
That tree walks! It's a walking tree! And it's killing everyone! Edgar, I think something terrible has happened. We shouldn't have gone into that old forest. I think somehow that walking tree tracked us. And where's the ranger? Gone. I don't know. Listen, let's get the old man and woman up. Let's leave now. Old man Stevens, wake up! Huh? You're much too much a sound sleeper. You need to grab what belongings you can. There's a killer here. We need to leave. Oh, oh okay. Be right back. I'm gonna wake man Featherstone. Why did you tell him a killer? I didn't think he'd believe a walking tree. We're ready. This is terrible. Who would do such a thing? The tree! The tree! That's it! A walking killer tree! A walking tree? Absurd! No time to explain it now, but I don't see the tree. No matter. We must go. It blocked it! Guys, run! I have an idea. Run up the hiking path. But it's so dark. I have a lantern. I'll lead. Garrett, we cannot go fast with the old man and old woman. But I'm not leaving them behind. I'm betting our safety on the fact that the tree may not climb up mountains very well. Let's go. That place is destroyed. We have no choice now but to walk in the open. But it seems the tree didn't follow us. We will have to walk the forest. Maybe we can make it back around the other side and follow the road. We shall do it, Garrett. But I hope my foot doesn't act up. I'm old, you know.
What's this? Whoa! It's you guys! You're alive! You? What are you doing here? I ran out of ammo. I tried to stay behind to save everyone, but it didn't work. Most of the visitors got out through the tunnel, but then I saw the tree collapse the tunnel. The last ones remaining got killed by the tree, including the owners. Jack was the last one remaining, so I brought him with me. He's here? I'm here, but I'm sad. This is the guy saved my life. He's lucky to be alive, but now I've got a problem. What to do with him? His parents are, well, no need to mention it. It's too late. Are we safe out here? Safe for now. How is the sandcastle even here? An employee made it once. They wanted to make a small dirt road out to it for visitors to come and stay at. But then the project was abandoned because it was too expensive. Still, the sandcastle is here and it gives us shelter for the time being. Then what is your plan? Are we going to stay here? No. I was just going to rest up a bit. But I needed more food so I was going to hunt this one time to save our lives. But, once I had enough, I'd cook it, and Jacko and me would make our way to the main road. But of course I see you are here now. Guess I'll need something bigger, like a deer. But we won't be able to leave right away. My foot is just starting to act up. I haven't walked like that in a long time. I need at least a few hours rest. That'll be enough. I'll go hunting and bring back food. But if it's too late... Then we will have to wait until the next morning to leave. Another night? I don't think I can handle it. I think we will be alright. The dangerous part is the hunting. I think I'll head away far from where we came. I hope I'll be alright. Excuse me. I think I should go hunt now. Are you worried? You kidding? No, sorry. Yeah, we're all worried. I just hope we make it back. <laughs> you two seem unusually friendly. We've been talking for a while. Turns out we have more in common than we knew. You might say, if I may say it, dear. Dear? We seem to be starting a romantic relationship here. We are going to get married. Wow, really? Congrats, you two. If we ever get out of here alive...
Where is he? He should have been back by now. I fear he ran into trouble. This could be very bad. Hello! There he is! I'm so sorry I was late, but I had no choice. It's the strangest thing. All the game was gone. It's like they vanished. Then I found animal tracks, but they were all heading the same direction. It's like old wildlife suddenly decided to leave the resort area all at the same time. But I did finally find a small book. I have some meat. Just give me some time to prepare it and cook it. It will need to dry a lot so it will last longer. It will probably take all night at the fire. Do you think it's wise having a fire at night? It could give us away with its light. It's just the chance we'll have to take. Well then, good luck to us. Everyone wake up! There's something out there! I knew it! The light gave us away! That's the tree's trail! Then it's... That's it! Run! I'll get the food! Go! There goes that sandcastle. Piece of cake for that thing. Are you okay, Stevens and Ma'am Featherstone? We're all right. Quite the look my foot isn't bothering me now. I think we must travel the dark now with no choice. And I have a compass. I'm sure I can get us to the road. Let's stick together. And we'll do the best we can. There's the road! We've made it! I'll check my binoculars. Yes, there's a car coming. We are saved. Good. When it gets here, let's not go crazy. Let's act 
calmly. If there's not enough room, then we'll let Stevens and Ma'am Featherstone go first, then Jacko. Finally! Poor Jacko, what will become of him? I have a solution for that already. I have a surprise. We've decided to adopt him. Really? Oh, good. That's a relief. I was worried for him. Very well. Then that's what we'll do. And we'll make our way down the road more if we have to. And if there isn't room in the car. So sad to think of all that has happened. What will become of the resort? That's a problem I don't know what to do about. The rest of the world will never believe in a walking tree. I fear the only thing to do is leave the tunnel closed up and never let anyone go in there again. But there will be questioning. Yes, and I don't know how I will respond to it. But for now, the rest of you are left out of it. And from now on, the resort will always remain closed. And the few of us here will always know what happened. That's right. Though the place will remain blocked forevermore, we ourselves will always remember the horror of the walking tree.